All right, here we go. So, DP, DP Photography here with another video, and today we're talking about, you know, we're doing a little review today. One World GT after a thousand miles on this thing, and I gotta say, I am in love. You know, I can just go ahead and spoil this whole review right now. You know, everything is five stars. Now, I know Future Motion gets a lot of hate, man, but that's not the same case for me over here. I haven't had any problems with my board just yet. Now, I don't wanna jinx it. Let me knock on wood. But it's like, what can I say bad about this thing? Like, I wish it had a little bit more range. I wish it had a little bit more speed, you know? That beep comes around 19 miles per hour. Now, that being said, you know, they did do the update and whatnot. And a lot of people say that they get 21 now before they actually feel the haptic buzz. But uh, that's just something that I'm not gonna do. You know, I feel like, I'm a person that's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm old school, you know? I'm tr I like what's tried and true. And I've seen a lot of uh, nightmare reviews about that new update. So me, I'm just sticking with the plain old, well, I can't say plain old because, you know, I do have a lot of upgrades and stuff on my board, but me, I'm, I'm, I'm with this. Now I need to clean my bad boy up because I have been rolling through a little bit of water and the water in the keys is full of salt, which is not a good thing. Um, but yeah, man, I gotta say, you know, I love the board. You know, one wheel GT review after a thousand miles. Let's get to it. Now, I've gotten really, really good with just riding regular, if that makes any sense. You know, I can't do any tricks just yet. I can't uh, do 180 revert. Um, I can't go backwards, which is pretty decent for me, but I can't do any of the extra stuff. That being said, you know, none of that stuff is needed, man. You can have fun with this thing just regular. It's so easy to get in and between little cracks and crevices and explore so much more when you have a one wheel. I actually saw a video the other day where a dude said thank you one world because it had changed his life because he couldn't walk anymore. And this now was his piece of transportation. So anybody out there who's worried about being too old or having some kind of handicap and whatnot and feels like they can't do it, you can do it, man. You just need to be safe because, you know, falls do happen, man. And I understand that there were four deaths, which to me, sounds you know a little bit minimum like i don't want to downplay anybody's death but you know i wonder how many people died on bicycles or any other kind of device that you ride on or in five stars for me man like it's not i can't say nothing bad about this thing and i can't really say anything good about future motion because i haven't had any dealings with them now my board is everything since I've gotten the board, my upgrades have been, you know, the WTF reels. What makes you feel like, you know, you're flying. They're lower to the ground, giving you a lower center of gravity. And it just makes me feel like speed racer sometimes, man. Not to mention this color. Look at this color. You know, I have scraped them up. So I do suggest, you know, if you do get some reels, to go ahead and put some real covers on it. You know, me, I got some nicks in the first day and once I got those first few nicks, it was like, I'm not trying to baby this thing anymore. You know, worst come to worst, I'll just order a new set of reels. But I won't be doing that, man, because I'm still on the fence in between a float wheel and a pint X, man. And it is like, when I say I'm on the fence, man, it could go either way, man. It's like, I woke up this morning thinking pint X, by lunchtime, I was saying float wheels. So I have no idea just yet, but within the next month or so, I will be pulling the trigger on that. Um, you know, the only thing about getting a Pint X is that that's something that I could get right away and it will be cheaper. You know, the float wheel, you know, I'm gonna have to wait some time before I actually get that. Uh, this foam hex grip tape, four millimeter hex grip tape is what I got, along with an air pad in the back, What's the air pad, I don't think I'll ever change that out. That thing is fantastic, man. It just feels so good. Like now, it's just wide. The concavity is wide. 
So now like my foot spread across this much better. My fender is everything. I love an offender. Yeah, man, one wheel GT is everything, man. If I had to suggest you get any one wheel, it would have to be the GT because this thing just feels faithful, man. It just feels right. It just feels like it's gonna work. Um, the three falls that I had, the first fall, you know, I dipped below one mile per hour. The front dip, I fell, hit that shoulder, almost broke it. Second fall, I had on full gear, hit my whole head, hit my, hit everything, man. Nothing hurt, jumped right back up, jumped right back on it, man, and life was good. My third fall, I ran it out, man, pretty good, man. Like, maybe that's gonna be the next video, how to fall. Because one thing about the board is that you need to be ready to fall. Like, if you're handicapped, if you have any kind of issues, if you're regular, whatever it is, you need to be ready to fall, or you need to be ready to bail. You know, when you bail at speed, that means that you're gonna have to move your legs a little bit, so in that sense, when you talk about handicap, it might not be the best thing. But if you're handicapped and you're riding within your means, you know, you're not going crazy, you're not pushing 19, you're cool with doing it between 13 and 15, you're gonna be good. The tire is one of the things that I suggest that you change first. You know, some people stick with that stock tire. And I even myself liked the stock tire right before I changed it. But once I switched over, it was over with, man. The stock tire, man, somebody wanna buy a stock tire out there? Cause I'll never use that thing again. And on my new board, it will be Enduro, man. I don't even want the new performance tire. I don't want it. Enduro all the way. And I get the soft composition. I don't get the mid. No, man, how long you want your tire to last? I don't need my tire to last forever. It costs $100. When this tire burns out, I'll buy another one, man. It's gonna be real small in comparison to everything else that I spent on the board. My fender is the bomb diggity. Only thing I can say about this fender, man, is that this thing sometimes bumps. And you can see it'll come out real easy. But it's so easy to pop back in. And if I wanna ride fenderless, look at that. I can do that. So the fender's all that, you know, everything on here is all that. Now I do need a different radio, man. My JBL is old, man, years old. And yeah, I'm not loving it. I'm not loving it. I did see another JBL at the store that I do like, man, but I'm not gonna run out there and go buy it just yet, man. I'm gonna hold off for some time. You know, money right now is dedicated to getting that new board, man. And like I say, I don't know if that's going to be the float wheel or the one wheel pint X, but five stars, man, across the board for the one wheel GT, man. I don't know. You tell me what y'all think, man. Have you ever ridden a GT, man? My buddy who has a one wheel, man, who the one who inspired me to get one, he's riding on a pint. So when he saw my GT last night, man, it was like, oh, the heavens had opened up. I offered him to ride, but we were working an event where we're both shooting videos, so you really didn't have the time. But for me, man, it's like, this board is everything. This is something that I ride everywhere. This is something that I take everywhere. I keep it in the back of my car. You know, it's just good to have around because it's gonna be good to get around no matter where you go. It's like I gotta go to New Orleans for work, man. I'm not gonna be able to take my board with me because, you know, it's just gonna be too much of a mission, man. And it's like, man, I think, me quitting smoking weed, man, is gonna be easier than me not riding my one wheel for a few days, man. But I love this thing, man. It's just, you know, it, it plays to my heart. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, five stars all around the board, man. Like, how could I say that I didn't like it when it rides so smooth for me, man? And I think like me sitting here saying this so much, man, is not the best thing because that's when shit starts to feel. But if it does feel, I need to be ready to build and ready to run at full speed, getting that back foot down first. Haptic buzz is something that I'm just not interested in, man. Who wants their, their one wheel to start vibrating and doing all kind of funky stuff? Some people love it, you know what I mean? Some people having the greatest experience with it. They're doing custom shaping. It's helping them with trail runs and right not. But me, 
I love the way the board is now. Why would I do anything to change the ride? Hmm, I can sleep with my baby. You know what I mean? Like, you don't be surprised if you come in the house and it's all dark and you see me over in the corner. <laughs> I'm just joking, man. But man, One Wheel GT changed my life, man. It changed everything. Like, this board has changed so much in my life, man. It's inspired my YouTube channel, which I make so many videos now. And, and, and that's inspired me to quit smoking. Like, I didn't just stop smoking. Like, all of this stuff has gone together, man. And that's inspired me to be more healthy. And that's got me being more on top of my work. I can't explain how many different ways that this board has changed everything. And it's like anybody who's on the fence of even thinking about getting one, man, I always tell them to go ahead and get it, man. Just be careful. Just be smart. Know that you can fall, man. Don't be a crash dummy. Don't be out here pushing 23, 24 miles per hour and not think that you can't just catapult off the board, man. That's not what I do, you know? I try to be safe, man, and just try to be within my means, man. This ain't gonna be a long video, man. One Wheel GT review, five stars from your boy DP, man. Tell me what you guys think, man. Are you interested? Or are you jumping ship over the float well, man? Let me know down in the comments. I'm DP Photography, also known as The Real Berg. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out.